Mint is a perennial and when it's planted in good soil will grow wild. There are many varieties. Spearmint and peppermint are the two best known varieties. Spearmint has a longer, thinner, elongated leaf and comes from the chemical ingredient carvone. Its most widespread use is in Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. It has 5% menthol. Peppermint has a similar favor, flavor, but stronger and contains up to 40% menthol as an ingredient. Peppermint oil is applied to the skin for problems like headache, muscle aches, joint pain, and itching often used in aromatherapy for treating coughs, colds, pain reduction, and for reducing stress. This is my spearmint plant is doing really well. I actually cut it back three times already this year and spearmint is different than peppermint. Here's a peppermint plant over here. I started separating some for giveaway and putting it in different parts of the garden to actually keep critters and other things away. We had a good rain yesterday. All the marigolds are doing well. My kale, my giant red mustards are in the big blue pot over there. The triangular pots are mostly empty, waiting for me to separate all of the greens. So all these are tomatoes. The lettuce is about done. And all the way back there. Oh, look at the endonesia. It really liked or the cone flower it really liked all the rain last night. Walking along. Yes, walking along. I don't actually need my walkers anymore, so they are plant supports. All of these plants are filled with fresh soil and fertilizer. My greens will be going there. Blueberry bushes year old going slow and then all of this new real estate ready for plants thanks to one of my friends stopping by now I'll pull up some peppermint and some spearmint to give away talk to you later peace love and blessings garden quilt and art traditions have a great day